Hi there, I'm Rhonda and I help makers turn their digital designs into income. On my channel, you'll get quick tutorials, cool tools, and simple strategies to grow your digital product business. If you want daily AI prompts, trend tips, and a fun community that gets it, join us in our AI Profit Society. I left a link in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And now, without any further delay, let's get into today's video. Hey everybody, it's Rhonda. Uh, the other day I showed you how to do these uh, varsity style letters with uh, pattern backgrounds using Canva. So today I figured I'd show you how you can do this in Photopea. Uh, Photopea is a completely free online uh, photo editor. It's basically a free version of Photoshop, okay? So these types of designs are super easy to do in Photopea as well, and it would be completely free. Uh, the process on Canva requires you to download a transparent background PNG, and you know that is something that is limited to a pro account. So if you don't have a pro Canva account, you can absolutely use Photopea to do this and actually save yourself a step. So it's a little bit quicker to do it right here in Photopea than even in Canva. If you're a Photoshop user, the process is pretty much identical to what we'll be doing today in Photopea. So let's just get started. Uh, here's one I did, and it has like a wave shape to it. And here's our mama with just a little bit of a curve and then one for a nurse. So I'm just going to start here with a blank canvas. And to do that, all I did was go to File, New, and chose my size. So I have this blank canvas here, and I'm just going to click on my text tool over here on the left, or type tool. And then I'm just going to click here in the center and I'm just going to write what I want. And I think I'm just going to do fall. And let me move that in the middle. And I think I'm going to use a different uh, font. Let's use this college font. It's a little bit thinner, but or this one. I don't know if I like that one as much. Oh, let me look. Let me look. I think I'm going to do this one right here. And I'm going to leave the letters where they are. I could move them farther apart or whatever. Once you have your type, your text typed out, you can come up here to the top and there is a little button that says warp. If you click on that, you can add your uh, effects to your text. You can squeeze it, twist it, inflate it, Give it a fisheye, rise, fish, wave, and there's, there's just a bunch here that you can do, all right? I'm going to do arch, and then these little sliders here will adjust how much effect is put onto the text. So I think I'm just going to leave it right there. That looks pretty good. Click OK. And I said I wasn't going to adjust things, but I am going to put these letters a little closer together, I think. Let me select all. I don't want them too close. but maybe just a touch. There we go. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then I'm just going to come up here to the far left and select my move tool. 
and I'm going to drag it out and make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Just like that. Now to get the pattern on here, all we have to do is look through, find a background or a pattern that we've used that we like and just drag it in on top. So I have a bunch of patterns here and I'm going to look through here and find one that I think looks good for fall. I have like this uh, sunflower one I think I might use. Yeah, and I'm just going to drag that right in on top, okay? You can also go file and where are we? Open and place. So let's get rid of this. I'll show you that way. Go to file, open and place, and it will bring up your Windows Explorer so you can find the pattern you want. And you can just select it that way. I'm going to do these. And you just move this right over top of your text. It's a new layer. Once you have it in place, select your image layer, right click it, and select clipping mask. Now that's put the pattern on your layer, on your letters, and you can move this around a little bit if you want to try and get certain features into the letters. Like that, I think I like because I have the B and I have flowers showing in each letter. Once you do that, you can right click on the image layer again and select Merge Down from the drop down menu. Now that has put this together, now it's all one layer and you can no longer move these images. All right. So it's pretty much done here, but if you want to put an outline, on your text, make sure your image layer is selected. Come down to the bottom and collect, click on Effects. It's just the EFF button. And choose Stroke from the drop-down box. And now in here, you can choose the color of your stroke. I am going to take, you know, like an orangish brown from this image. and use that and then you can adjust the size of it if you want it thicker if you want it thinner it's completely up to you and you can choose whether it's on the inside of your text so that when you make the outline bigger it makes the text it takes away from the design you can center it so it takes from the scent from the design and goes spreads outside or you can choose outside which just makes everything bigger for this one i'm going to use center i'm going to click ok and there it is my patterned college varsity type letters are done and now you could save this and upload it to your shop as you know, a fall design you can add to it. You could do happy fall, y'all, something like that on here if you wanted to. It's completely up to you. But let's do one more, and I'm going to hit Control N on my keyboard to bring up the new artboard. And I'm just going to make mine 3000 by 3000 transparent and click OK. So let's do something else. Um, let's do, let's just do, come over here, we'll put in anything you want. That's the fun part of this. You know, you can make these for a ton of themes. We're gonna do auntie. Excuse me. And I am going to select all of this text. 
I'm going to click on my character tool over here on the right and I'm going to adjust this again with how close the letters are to each other. Okay. And I am going to reduce the size just a little bit because now I went a little too far there, didn't I? That's okay. Let's move this in. Make this bigger. And again, if you want, you can use the effects tool up here, the warp. And let's do a, you can invert it and do like a lower arc like this. And I think that's what we'll do for this one, just for fun. Click OK. Let's get rid of that. And then take your select tool. All right. So there is our text and it's ready for our pattern. And this time I'm going to bring my folder over and I'm going to show you what I meant. Let's look for something in here. Let's do, um, let's just do this uh, pretty floral here. So let me move that down and I'm just going to drag it in and drop it on top. Okay. So you can either do file open in place, or if you have it, you can just drag it over from an open folder right in on top. So we have it on top of our text. We're going to select the pattern layer, right click, clipping mask. And now that's in here, like, just like I said, and we can move this around if we wanted to to get different portions of the design in our text. Once you like it, right click again, merge down. Now let's give this a little bit of a border so we can read it a little easier. Again, with the image selected, select effects, stroke, and then come in here and choose the color you want to go with it. I like the black, I think, on this one. Or maybe we'll go with something blue. There we go. And now that's done. And you could, again, leave this the way it is. Or you could add some more text to it. Let's do... Let's do this. Let's put this over here. Let's make it smaller. And let's find a different font, maybe something. Let's use this Allison just for example, okay? And let's write favorite. Select it all, make this a little bigger. And you could put that right here in the middle. And I'm not. Adjust your spacing on your letters if you want. But you could just pop that right in there just like that. I didn't really look for a good font to go with this. This isn't exactly what I would choose if I was making this. But for <clears throat> demonstration, you can see that then you could just add, you know, a little bit more text to it. Favor Auntie and there's your design. Okay. But that's how simple it is just to make these patterned varsity style letters for the shirts that are, you know, trending all over Facebook or Facebook, Etsy. You see them everywhere. They've been popular for quite a while now. It doesn't look like they're going any place anytime soon. So if you wanted to make some of these, you absolutely can. And they're super easy to do. All right. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. If uh, 
you like this video, please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video.